Please like, share and subscribe. Press bell icon to get notification of new educational videos. Hello everyone, you are all welcome to lecture number 450 and that is in continuation of thermal pollution of water and how uh, thermal pollutants, I call them pollutants, that is heat and warming of water is going to affect the aquatic animals. As we know that when the temperature of water is increasing or water is becoming warm, it is changing the total quality of water and even it is affecting the life of all animals. And I have already told you in the beginning uh, that first it will change the physical and chemical properties of water. I mean to say that density will be changed, viscosity will be changed and the ionization will be changed and also with that change in the water quality, the ionic product, the dissolution of gases will be different. And in this way, whatever toxicity of water is there at low temperature will be increased if there is thermal pollution means once water is warm. Because there are some salts of cyanide group and cyanide group salts are highly toxic and they are less soluble once the density or viscosity of water is more. But once the temperature is increasing, the viscosity and density of water will be uh, reduced, means the viscosity will be less at high temperature. And in this way, the solubility of those toxic material, especially cyanide ions, will be more. So in that circumstances, the aquatic animals, some of them will immediately die, especially the invertebrates and some will be sick and their biochemistry, physiology will change. Also, this uh, thermal pollution affects their reproductive system. Lot of fishes, they either stop uh, producing the sperms or eggs at high temperature and it reduces up to 40-50 percent. So their uh, reproductive life will be drastically reduced. Most of them will be sick and also the that is called oxygen demand and biochemical demand that is OD and BOC will be more in the sense that once the temperature of water increases, that is uh, the thermal pol pollution of water is more, it means that uh, these uh, fishes, they will be drastically affected and what the effect is that they are swimming, frequency will increase, they will swim very fast and when they are swimming fast, they need more, their demand of oxygen will be more and once the demand of oxygen is more and at high temperature, the dissolution of oxygen, DO level is less, so they will feel suffocated and ultimately they cannot survive. So these are all very serious implications of chemistry, of biochemistry, of physiology and even genetic effect, enzyme effect, hormonal effect, they all will be disturbed. And finally, when the temperature is not favorable to those uh, 
aquatic animals they will start shifting so the uniform distribution of this aquatic animal uh, will not be there they will be shifted to those side where in a river or in a, a pond will be not equal it will be not uniform so here i am giving one by one all the effects that how the thermal pollution of water affecting aquatic animals their physiology biochemistry and their uh, reproductive uh, system so here number one is increase in toxicity of water the uh, rising temperature increases the toxicity of the poison present in the water a uh, 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature triples the toxic effect of uh, potassium cyanide that is ksian so once there is increment of 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature that is water is affected by thermal that is called thermal pollution uh, temperature increase and that is enough to increase the toxicity of the uh, water and where potassium cyanide salts are there their dissolution will be more and water will become highly toxic and while at 80 degree centigrade uh, rise in temperature triples the toxic effect of orthoxylene uh, orthoxylene is organic compound uh, and this Uh, is causing once at 80 degree centigrade temperature is there uh, the orthoxylene concentration will be more and it will cause massive mortality of fish in uh, river and pond number 2 biological activities i mean biological activities mean physiology biochemistry and that is a uh, reproductive or digestive system how it is affected temperature is uh, considered to be significance to the physiology metabolism and biochemical process in controlling respiratory rates digestion excretion and overall development of aquatic animals a sharp change in water temperature is destructive because aquatic animals are involved in several chemical reactions and the rate of these chemical reaction with sharp increase in temperature will drastically change and chemical varies with the change in the temperature number 3 uh, reproductive life it affects the reproductive life also and uh, sometimes it slow down and sometimes uh, they become totally uh, non productive so in fishes several activities like nest building hatching migration and reproduction uh, is affected and it depends on some optimum temperature at certain optimum temperature their reproductive activity is good and normal but once temperature is increased it will affect their uh, all the uh, reproductive activities for example lake trout is a type of fish will spawn at 8.9 degrees centigrade spawn means the release of uh, sperm and eggs that is called spawning of the fish so it will be very good at 8.9 degrees centigrade and the uh, warm water disturbs spawning and destroy the egg of uh, this lake trout fish so here in continuation i am going to give more information about the rate of their uh, reproductive behavior and also the rate of their swimming and food oxygen demand so number 4 is variations in reproductive rate the increase in temperature uh, triggers deposition of eggs by female and the triggering is particularly dramatic in shellfish which uh, spawn within 4 hours of water temperature uh, reaching the critical level and also these two species are affected uh, that is oysters and clams are also affected uh, 
the Atlantic uh, Salmon X hatched in 114 days in 2 degree centigrade temperature of water and in 90 days at 7 degree centigrade temperature Herring X hatched in 47 days at 0 degree centigrade temperature and in 8 days at 14.6 degree centigrade temperature and these are the critical temperatures uh, for uh, the production of fishes and uh, number five change in metabolic rate the, uh, the fishes metabolic rate are drastically affected by increase of the temperature that is called thermal uh, pollution or thermal pollutants uh, the fishes show a remark rise in uh, basal rate of metabolism with temperature to the lethal point where temperature is high means it is a lethal temperature uh, the respiratory rate oxygen demand food intake and swimming speed these are all increased they can swim very fast when they swim very fast they need more oxygen they need more food but more is not available there is a limited quantity dissolved oxygen in the water uh, take more swimming speed is in fishes increases in brown trout the rate of oxygen consumption rises steadily till lethal temperature uh, reaches to 28 degree centigrade so up to 28 degree centigrade that 28 degree centigrade is called lethal temperature means the activity is maximum and they suffer casualty uh, Soki salmon swims twice as fast in water at 15 degree centigrade as at uh, 0 degree centigrade temperature but above 15 degree it the speed is slow down and here uh, let me uh, make it very clear I am discussing the thermal uh, pollution on aquatic animals and this is very very important for fisheries department those who are involved in fish farming is a very good information all the temperature lethal temperature their food behavior how they are affected uh, by temperature so the control of temperature maintaining the temperature as per their requirement to have the information knowledge is very very important for those people who are involved in fish farming. So uh, with this I will stop and again in next lecture I am going to discuss more about the uh, thermal, the effect of thermal pollution on aquatic life and even I will be giving some effect on marine life also those which are in ocean animals and it's a very interesting topic because usually we don't care for thermal pollution we don't care for temperature and uh, it's not like that those who are involved in uh, marine animal uh, harvesting or fish farming they, they have to uh, understand the temperature of the water and that is how they are affecting thank you very much for watching the lecture